Hey, yo, what is up? It's your boy back here in the building, back with another mud gameplay. And if you guys know, this is the last game of the season. This is a game that entails if I'm making it to the playoffs or not. So you know I gotta come out here and ball. So you know that the mistakes have to be minimal. No dropped interceptions, no throwing interceptions, no fumbling, making the smart play. See right there, my opponent was able to get out of the pocket and throw to a wide open. I think that was Jordan Nelson. So as you see, I'm stay rocking with the Patriots jersey. My opponent is rocking with the Green Bay Packers jersey. And he was able to get pretty much down the field pretty quickly. Because here I get to stack with Starla Tulier, however you say his name. Third and 16, dropping back, finding his man, but he can't hold no Ha Ha Clinton Dix. Yo, Ha Ha Clinton Dix, man, I feel bad for the guy. He had a great game. Like, he had a great first few quarters. And then his fourth quarter is just bad against the Seattle Seahawks in the NFC Championship. But that's okay. My opponent was only able to get away with only three points. First and ten, passing it off to Greg Olson. He hits him with a nice spin move, then another juke, getting a healthy gain of yards. Second and ten, handing it off to Jay Stu. But he wasn't able to go nowhere. So third and eight, trying to get this first down, looking for somebody. Can't find anybody open, so I just decide to run it with Cam Newton. Getting at least, well, I'd say three yards. Fourth and five. Got to get this first down. I want this drive to keep going. Can't have no drive stall. Dropping back, finding Allen Hearns for the first down. That's my boy. Big body receiver. First and ten, handing it off to Jay Stu. Trying to hit him with the spin move. Getting a, a little bit of yards. But we need to get our running game going. That's what's going to help us go deep into the playoffs. Getting our running game to go. And we just can't keep getting these three-yard gains, two-yard gains. So here, I run it again with Jay Stu. Breaking tackles, getting the first down, getting a healthy amount of yards. First and ten, handing it back to Jonathan Stewart, finds the open gap. And he is in for the touchdown. 73, I got the lead. My opponent gets the ball back. First and ten, finding out, I want to say that is DeAndre Hopkins. Yes, that is DeAndre Hopkins. First and ten, dropping back that QB containment. Willie Young and Cameron Wake back there, you're not going nowhere. Second and 20. Or should I say second and two freaking miles. Dropping back, trying to find somebody, but I got my man Dante Whitner there in zone. I've been thinking about getting rid of Dante Whitner, no lie. I need some I need someone faster back there, but we'll see what I can find in the market. He was able to get a good amount of yards on third down, fourth and five, trying to see if he could get a first down so his drive won't stall. But TJ Carey had the sure interceptions. I said no dropped interceptions, man. Damn it. Second and seven, passing it off to Brandon LaFell, my other big body receiver. You know I'm going to try to hit it off with that no huddle offense. Trying to hit it off with that hurry up offense. Trying to find a play that I could run. And I think I ran this play. I don't know. This play doesn't look too pretty. Having Allen Hearns in motion, dropping back, looking for somebody. Can't find nobody. <laughs> I found Alshon Jeffries running across the middle field. I didn't think he was going to be that wide open, but somehow I found him. So again, sticking with that fast-paced offense, first and 10, that no-huddle offense, trying to catch my opponent slipping, hang it off to Jonathan Stewart, but he was able to get the tackle in the backfield. So third and 13, trying to get this freaking touchdown, running around with Cam Newton, feeling the pressure, just throwing it up. And thank goodness it was an interception. That play could have play could have been ugly. But that's one of the things I got to improve. I can't just do those stupid plays where I just run around and try to throw something up. So with only 44 seconds left, my opponent can well drive down the field, but he can't because he got Joe Hayden right there. Joe Hayden, man. Yo, get yourself a Joe Hayden. Please, dude. Please get yourself a Joe Hayden. I'm telling you, this guy's freaking beast. Freaking monster. Casey Hayward and Joe Hayden. Yo, my cornerbacks is lethal. Second and 12, dropping back. Hand out to Greg Olsen. And ooh, ooh. Ah, that spin move was ridiculous. That spin move was freaking ridiculous. Able to get another score before the second half arrives. First and 10, opponent dropping back. And there we go. TJ Carey. He's not, he's not dropping that interception. So with only four seconds left, we got one more play to try to see if we can make it into the end zone. Throwing up the Allen Hearns. 
My big body receiver, Allen Hearns, comes down with the catch. That's what I'm talking about. This is the type of game we have to play when we're going to the playoffs. We can't be playing no slack shit. We got to go in there playing some mean fucking off the wall shit. And that's what I'm talking about. We scored two quick touchdowns before the end, before the second half arrives. And with a 24-3 lead, basically you could say I just 21 scuffed them. But the game isn't over. Like I said, you don't know what can happen in Madden. You know how EA be throwing some cheese at you and shit like that. And they be making you lose on purpose. So we got to go in the second half still trying to score. And that's how I'm feeling right now. First and 10, just running a simple running play with Jonathan Stewart to the right. Getting the good blocks. Getting that nice spin move. On my way to the races. Hitting him with the back juke. Able to get a huge chunk of yards. Second and 10, Cam Newton looking back. Finding Allen Hearns again. And yo, I'm smelling the end zone. Like, I could literally smell the end zone. So what do I do? I hit him with that fast-paced offense. That no-huddle offense. Just running another simple play to the right. Jay Stu trying to find the opening but couldn't. Still keeping hope alive. I'm still smelling the end zone. Finding Dennis Pitta in the middle of the field. Hurrying everybody up. I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. I'm just going to run this simple run play. Try to get it in to be up by like 28 points. So first and goal, I got Frank Gore in the backfield. And I'm just trying to dive it in with Frank Gore. But I dove too short. So third and goal, I remember I got Cam Newton. So what else to do? Just running in with Cam Newton. What better else is there to do? I mean, the guy's a freaking beast. First and 10, my opponent has one last shot to try to see if he could get it in the end zone. And ha ha, Clinton Fix comes up with the interception. Ah, shit, people. When you see this, you know what that means. GG to my opponent. But this is the game we want to play going into the playoff. This is a freaking, this was a freaking all-star performance right here. I'm excited as hell. We couldn't get the first round by, but at least we got it into the playoffs. Just one step at a time to try to make it back into the Super Bowl. And I'm feeling pretty confident in my team and how my defense has been playing lately. Haven't been dropped in interceptions that lately. With only three losses in the season and three straight wins and making it to the playoffs, I'm feeling pretty confident. So stay tuned. I'll be back with more mud. Peace.